Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Techtopia with me. I am Haley, and uh, we got a party going on back here, so let's just jump in and talk about what's going on. As you know, we got our bard last time, and uh, uh, old, uh, old, what's her name? <laughs> Aliska has uh, had some issues. She, she's fine, she's fine. Um, apparently, you know, she's living in the house back here. And you'll see I actually have a second house because we're going to get some uh, some more villagers here today. Um, she woke up one morning, walked out, and got attacked by a zombie. Oh, what is it? Yeah, a zombie. She's fine. <laughs> she she got down to about five hearts. It was a zombie that was on fire. So I've still got some lighting up to do. I've put a lot more torches out there. And we've done a little bit of building outside of this little house. But uh, let me give you guys the update and the tour. So. Uh, last time, I gotta get my notes here, uh, I had mentioned that you can actually use a book to um, get some update information on your village. Uh, that's not in the Techtopia pack, it's actually an additional add-on that I, uh, I did add to the pack. It's called Techtopia Information. So I did update update that book to the pack, so now if I click on any of my villagers here, I'm going to go ahead and click on here. You can see information about your village. So if you start with the information, it tells you where your token position is. This is actually the 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 um, the town hall token. It tells you where your boundaries are, coordinates, how many structures you have, residents, and different cells you have, professions. So this is actually really good. It also tells you if you have any residents that don't have any bed set. Uh, you can see your structures here. These are all the structures you can have and how many you currently have. So that's really, really handy here. Um, we also tell you how many professions you have. So I have one bard, one chef, two farmers, and one lumberjack. So we're pretty good there. You guys just see information about your residents. So you can see how many are adults and kids and males and females and then if you go through the next couple of pages it'll tell you their individual information so bethany we can see from here she has 84 happiness she's a little hungry and you guys you see the max stats on here days alive 22 caleb's been alive for 45 days so those are very important uh, unfortunately right now they're not too bright <laughs> they're uh, low on intelligence but we're hoping to Fill that up once we get a library set up. So, and also tells you where their bed is, where their current position is. That's really cool in case something happens. So flipping through, you can see again, I got Daisy, Aliska, and John. So as long as you click on any of the, um, of the villagers, you can see information about all of your villagers. What I actually like about this too, because you know some villagers we get, they have already a preferred profession, something they're pretty good at, and it tells you what level. Uh, this actually shows you. So John, we made John a farmer, but he really wanted to be a teacher. Now he's currently a level 19 farmer, but if I wanted to make him a teacher, he'll be a level 10. Um, let's see, Alaska wanted to be a, a, a miner, and Daisy wanted to be a butcher and a teacher as well. So we can see that Caleb really didn't have any profession choices but so he's been a pretty good lumberjack so I can't really complain on that uh, let's see what else we got we got statistics on happiness you can see how happy all your people are how hungry they are I've got one person that's not very happy and that's our bard right now so we're gonna see if we can do something about that um, happiness statistics uh, range yeah I guess there's more information about the book so that's very handy again it's called Tectopia information so you can add that into here now our Bart, like I said, he's not very happy. Uh, he's still working. He's still making all the other people happy. But um, in between episodes, since we've got some people wandering around here, I want to go ahead and hire some more. So in between, I did sell a bunch of carrots. I actually sell bread now. So it's our, um, our, our villager, our chef is making bread and some wood. So I have 27 emeralds, which should be enough to make another Bart. Where is the trades person let's see if we can go ahead and buy another bard uh cost 18 tokens for that okay we're gonna go ahead and get a bard here uh i also want to go ahead and get a miner while i'm here because that's uh we have an extra play where's the miner i saw it where's the miner there we go we're going to get a miner while we're here and then we're going to go ahead and get a mine shaft as well uh where is the yeah sorry mine shaft these are things that I've been working towards and going to make my life a little bit easier. And I have one emerald left to spare. All right, let's go ahead and get a secondary bard because I want these guys 
to share a bunk. Uh, Linda had commented, hey, do you want uh, dueling bars? Going to make them fight for it? No, not going to make them fight for it. They're going to do just fine. Now, this guy wants to be a, a, Albert wants to be a farmer. And let's see what this guy up here wants to do. Want to do it before while it's still daytime? You want to be a rancher and a miner. Oh, you want to be a miner? Okay, let me, wait a minute. Which, which one's which? Okay, I want to go ahead and hire this guy first. Make him a bard. There we go. Now we got two bards. And hopefully they'll share a bunk. Because they can they can sit around. And then where's the guy that wanted to be a mine? Wait a minute. Miner. Did I buy two miners? I was supposed to buy a mine shaft. Oh my gosh. Ah, <sighs> now I have to get some more emeralds to get a mine shaft. I think we can do that. That's just fine. Uh, where did that guy go? He wanted to be a miner. So we have two bards. There they go. They're hanging out. Um, where? Did, I think he's over here. So we're going to have two miners. It's perfectly fine. Are you, what's your name? Conrad. Conrad, you're now a miner. Now you don't have a bed yet because we're going to talk about this here. Now last time I had actually set up um a marker here that i stole from um <laughs> another village and i don't know if it's because i updated the pack with the new uh doohickey on it hey get back here it's not sunset yet I, I need you i need i need to possibly sell something i don't know uh cake okay come back tomorrow uh because i have one emerald left so i need to sell i might have some more bread for you i know i don't have the beetroots yet carrots where do you go Okay, see, he's quick. Um, but yeah, so I did find that I could not put the second one up. So either it only worked once or it didn't update. But uh, I can't steal any more <laughs> of these little home things. So um, that's kind of sad. But I still was able to get the item frame from the other place. And I didn't steal it per se. Uh, I borrowed it from one of the villages over here that doesn't have, um, let's see, village number one. This village doesn't seem to have a lot of activity going on in it. Let's see, I think it's back over here. In fact, uh, when I came back, I found one of the villagers was kind of stuck. Uh, so I saved him. Ow. Um, but I don't know how, how well it's actually going to do. So either it was a one-time thing, it didn't work, but now I have to get, um, and the mine shaft, but that's fine. I can show you guys some other stuff and talk about some wonderful things of what's going on. So I'm gonna put this back. Oh, I took the item frame. Forget about that. Uh, but yeah, this village. There's no people in it. There's no beds that are claimed uh, that I can see. Like, see that one's still yellow. And the one guy, he was actually trapped in this building here. Is he still? Yeah, he's still there. So, uh, little handy dude. I don't know what's going on with you. I know all your people are gone, but you've been standing here for a few days. I wish I can hire you. Um, oh, what's that? Because this one doesn't work. I'm going to try to borrow, like you guys can see my air quotes, another one. Because maybe just that one was broke. Because that one was actually on the ground. It was from this building here, uh, which I, I borrowed the beds as well. Um, let's go ahead and take this one and see. Let's see. Go back home. Because since it's nighttime, uh, I'm, I've got... To not uh, not enough beds for all these people <laughs> and that's just show actually in the book here let's see if this one will work yeah see it lit up but it doesn't stay lit up and the beds i'm gonna go ahead and set the beds down uh, this is going to be not so well <laughs> uh because uh they're gonna have to fight for beds but i got the two bards so at least they'll be happy uh, the miner seems to have claimed the extra bed in here because uh, I got to make your mine shaft. I can't believe I did not make your mine shaft. That is so, that's so Haley. That's all I can say. Uh, let's see what's going on in here. Uh, you guys look fine. And you guys look fine. You guys are talk, talking kind of intently over there. What's going on? Just a girl's night out? Okay, that's fine. Uh, good, sit and relax. And where's the bards? Oh, okay, they're in here. Are you guys making uh, making the music? What's going on? See? All right. You're very happy. And you are still kind of sad, Alaska. Hopefully, that will increase a little bit later. Okay. So, if I click on now with them with the books, I should see. Yeah. See, Albert has the next biome because Albert doesn't have a bed. 
Albert, I promise I will get you a bed here very soon. Uh, it just may take a minute because I got to get another token, unfortunately. And I think the two bedroom tokens sell for six emeralds. So we're going to have to hustle up some emeralds here. Oh, I also got more hearts. Um, John has been, uh, well, uh, John's been giving a lot of hearts, but I think this one came from Caleb. So we're getting a lot of hearts uh, from all of our people here. Okay, so tradesmen. No. I keep clicking on the wrong one. I get back over here, architect. Okay, so um, the mine shaft, like I said, I got two miners. We'll set that one aside for right now. The mine shaft's only three emeralds, so I messed up there. And uh, another two bedrooms, now seven emeralds. The prices have gone up. All right, so we're going to have a very a long night. Uh, but we're going to see if we can get several seven emeralds tomorrow. Uh, that, now, a couple of other things that I noted, I want to give some comments out for people that have updated me from information. Um, that the furnaces, and I learned this in the live stream we did with the squad, just like the chest for the um, the warehouse, everything has to be on the, the ground level. So I had four furnaces stacked up here, two and two. They actually have to be on the ground level for them to actually work. Looks like uh, our cook here is use, utilizing all of that information. So that is good information to know. I guess, again, they don't want to reach. Everything needs to be on the ground level. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else? I don't think it's very much else that I've done. Oh, no, I did some building. Um, so we're, I'm going to have a mine shaft and I want my miner to be over here since I <laughs> didn't buy the mine shaft. Unfortunately, I have one emerald right now. We're going to see how many emeralds we can get by selling stuff. Our cook's been busy. Our farmers have been busy. And our lumberjack's been busy. So we're going to try to make this the mine shaft. We're going to build this up. And that way our miner will be over here and try to get us some things. Now, along with the miner, because I want the miner, which means I also want to get a druid. So I'm going to make the miner and druid roommates. Uh, so we have the bards as roommate, the miner and druid as roommate, the farmer and the lumberjack as roommate, and a farmer and a chef as roommates. All, all these roommates are ready to go. Uh, we'll we'll get them all set up because the druid. Oh, let's see where we go. Who's sleeping where? Everybody's sleeping. Our bards. Are you a new bard, Albert? Yeah, Albert, you're the new bard. I know you need a bed. Um, I believe that our 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 miner took your bed because i wanted you to room with the other bard to keep him happy but it's fine we'll let them all sleep they'll only be sleeping here for a few more minutes wow okay you you guys snore and i got a creepy zombie sitting out here watching them sleep that is not cool do not watch my villagers sleep Ugh, so crazy all right so i tried to light all this up back here because i don't i think they're just coming from yeah, right down here. There's a skeleton down there. I, I know you see me out. I don't, don't need to light this up next. So I want to keep um, I keep them as far away as possible. Then, because it's the first incident I've had in a long time. Because I've been wandering around. Like, I'll go AFK for a little while to let them do their work. And I'll come back and everybody's just fine. But luckily, I was here when... Um, when our bard was being attacked by the zombie, it was like right around in the morning. And I looked down in the chat and I was like, Aliska, what, what's going on? She was just totally being attacked by the, the crazy zombies. Okay, is that all that? So if I keep this lit up back here, it'll kind of keep them pushed back. So there's a less chance of them running up on, on people. Uh, I know there's a zombie behind me. I saw him. <laughs> Let's see, we're just gonna take as many torches as we can. Um, so I made that bridge over there. Hi, creeper. Hi, what you doing? Yeah, you stay down there. Actually, I could probably use the gunpowder for something. You, you stay down there. Just, yeah, just, just stay. One more, one more hit. Uh, one, oh, oh, ow. Okay, well, no gunpowder for me. Um, I did also make another bridge over here. I'm, I'm, I'm going to process of making a couple more bridges as well. Because I think, um... They don't go across water very well. See that bridge is not being made, finished being made yet. I want to get into deco craft a little, a little bit. Uh, I added it to the pack because there's something called a hanging bridge, and I don't know if the um, the villagers will use um, furniture. I know that I know they won't use furniture made from other mods, but what I don't know if they will use. Aha! There you go, skeleton. You don't follow me all the way down here. Uh, I don't know if they will use the bridge made from deco craft so we're going to find that out in between episodes i'll give the deco craft the uh ow 
Hi. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just uh, going to go over here to this death point real quick. Let's see this one here. Oh, God. You got friends. I didn't know you brought your buddies with you. Okay. Which one? Oh, just, 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 just die. Oh, ow. Okay. How many of them are over there? Oh, I'm lucky my, my, my guys aren't awake for this. Where is it at? Where, you, you just, yeah, you should be done. Okay. You're done. And you, how much health do you have left? I think you were the one. Yeah, there we go. All right, those skeletons are gone. All right, the sun's rising. We can see the sky is turning pink here. Let's get rid of these death points. Uh, remove, remove. And um, we'll come back later and try to uh, light up some more area there. So we got zombies that are down there. Uh, that are going to be interested in trying to get to our guys. And... Uh, Oh, you are not lit up back here. How did I miss that? F7's very good to have. I love, love the more of Lay's mod. All right, so we got to get an actual marker we can use. So we can't use that one. Wow, these guys. Close the door. <laughs> you can snore so loud. All right, so um, yeah, so there's some more buildings that I want to do. I made a list of some things that I wanted to get, and I was so happy when I got all the emeralds that I did. Let's take a look at our storage and see what we got going on, because I may try to go find... Yeah, so we got oak wood is ready to sell, but I think the guy that's selling our oak or buying our oak wood is not going to buy it for as much as I would like. We only have 10 slices of bread. The bread sells in slices of 16, and nobody's buying sugar cane. That is so weird. Um, I think that's all I can sell is the actual wood. Uh, birch wood, I've got 11, 5 are in white status, so that's not going to work for what I need. And I've already sold all the carrots that I can sell because everything has to be sold in stacks. So let's see. The most important thing we need is a token. So we're going to try to get us a token, uh, which means we're going to go to another village. Everybody's awake. Uh, our bard did not get a chance to sleep. Our second bard, Albert, I will find your house. But you seem to be doing well. You're happy. You're full. You got all your hearts. I need you to cheer up Alaska. Cause she's had, oh, sorry. <laughs> she's had a rough day as it is. All right. So let's go visit our, our village number four. Let's see what's village number three. Uh, okay, so we got a lumberjack over here. So this is an active village. Uh, we're going to see if we can find a market guy here that will be willing to buy our oak. Because I want to try to get a mine shaft and or try to get uh, is that a death point. Yeah, I got a death point over here. Uh, also try to get the, um, the token as well. So I need three for the... Um, Three for the mine chef and seven for the bed token. So let's see. It's just now morning. If they're going to have some um, a market guy show up. Let's see. You got a farmer. He's wandering around. Or you know better that. Let me see if you got anything here I can borrow. Uh, ooh, got some more oak wood I can sell. Okay. So there's nothing really exciting there. Let's see. Who are you? Um... Yeah, who are you? Are you just a wandering person? How many farmers does this place have? Oh, somebody's happy. Can I steal their hearts? I'm going to borrow their hearts. because <laughs> have enough people. We don't need any more people over here. How do you get up there? Uh, okay, so all of you are farmers. Yeah, I'm stretching my neck so I can actually see. Um, I don't see anybody. Hello? Is there a wandering merchant by any chance? Now, I can also consider, if I have 20 emeralds, to get a market stall. And probably the price has gone up on that. Because the more you buy, the more expensive things become. Oh, there we go. Hi, little uh, guy. Okay, so this is the guy here. <gasps> I didn't have any wheat to sell. Dang it, I didn't even think about that. And he buys oak wood. Perfect. So let's get some of the... Oh, wait, sorry. Hang on. Let's get some of that. So that gives us eight. Uh, what else do you want to sell? Yeah, I don't think I had any wheat. We'll go back and see if you had any wheat. But the most important thing is I got um, I got the the wood from these guys. So let's go back home and let's see what's going on with our folks. Future village development. And I'm gonna go ahead and get the mine shaft. Albert, are, are you just still so sad? Yeah. Are you guys not even speaking to each other? There you go. Yeah. 
Go play. Go play with each other. Go sing along and think. There you go. Well, it, I don't think. Okay, they seem happy. I saw the sparkles from you. I, I guess they're happy. All right, let's go ahead and get the mine shaft. Besides, oh, you can't believe I bought that miner. Uh, okay, so from the architect, we're going to get. Let's make sure we get it right. Mine shaft, three emeralds. Let's get that. One, two, three. Okay. So we got three emeralds there. And let's put the extra emerald there. So I need one more to get another two bedroom. They seem kind of happy. Now, I need another frame. What I am going to do... Yeah, you guys... There we go. <laughs> okay, you, you seem happy. Albert, you're at 100% happiness. And... Oh, he's getting happy. Okay, that's much, much better. All right. Did I hear a growl or a grunt? Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that. All right, so let's see what our market guy is uh, looking to... Okay, so he's offering four diamonds. Ah, oh, for 12 emeralds, but it has to be the diamonds that the miner has actually gotten. So since I've bought the mine shaft, uh, I can see already our merchant's going to be offering more items. So we got redstone, they're offering for five emeralds. Um, so we got wheat, bread, some of the same old, same old, but he's offering more items based upon what I have. I absolutely love that. Uh, we're going to see if we had any wheat. Yeah, I think our, 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 uh, Baker lady, the baker lady, <laughs> the chef is using all this wheat to make uh, things over there. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to make the mine shaft, and then I need at least one more emerald. So I'm going to let everybody kind of work through the day to try to get another token so we can go ahead and have another bed set up over here. So we'll get that going on. Well, for right now, guys, I think that's the end of the episode. You can see the progress going on. You guys need to practice a little bit more. <laughs> this is why I wanted them to have their own uh, place so they can stay together way over there and <laughs> practice at night. <laughs> All right, guys. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode and are enjoying this series. If you have any questions or comments, leave us down in the comment section below. And if you're new to, our, new to my channel, make sure you click the subscribe button, the like button, and the notification bell to be notified when new episodes come out. If you want to hang out with me and any of the other squad members, you can do so by becoming one of our Patreons. Now, the Patreon link is listed in the description field. Be sure to check it out because we've had some one Wonderful things come up for the last few weeks. We've had, yeah, I'm gonna make this like a, a little entryway. Let's do that now. Um, we have now six Patreon server for you guys to choose from. It's absolutely amazing. So can be sure to come check it out. Um, you can all you have to do is click on the link and you can see the uh, servers that we do offer for everybody. It's, I, I'm just really excited about the new server that we have. It is the Hunger Games server. So if you want to get a chance to get on and just beat up on squad members and you know take them down because we're not that great at pvp just saying i'm not, not speaking just for myself <laughs> ask any of us be sure to check it out now if you want a server to play on with your friends go over to host havoc it's who we use for all of our multiplayer series as well as those patreon servers i just spoke about Whew, okay so i've got a little area set up here i'm not sure how this is going to work i need to get a, a item frame to stick this token in but we'll check that out next time all right, well guys, until next time, I will talk to you later. Bye guys.